But, but within that, it's, it, it's those scholars who are kind of reflexive about the limitation of that home field. So that, and I try to do this too, like I'll say, well, as a rhetorician, but then when I'm writing about games specifically, I'll try to say, and that's your limitation. And in other ways in the academy, you always leave it that strength. But in game studies, it is not a strength. So my TMP review last time, um, someone just asked me, there are all these collaborations, and they were like, What's, can you talk about the, what you do in terms of the author? I was like, that's cool. And I, I had this long answer, but basically, it comes down to like the sciences. In game studies, more is better. That if that it's kind of a to say that I'm going to tell you I, this is not my again not my field. You know, my field like everyone else, we came from somewhere else. We're participating. The nature of that that act almost requires collaboration. So having more than one author's a name attached to a work is actually kind of a badge that means you did this hard thing. It's much easier to work by yourself, but it seems that game scholars require this interdisciplinarity, or at least worth very worthwhile game studies does. Even Kevin's with his writing with his brother. Um, the proposal I'm writing with Mark. Um, it seems that collaboration is the the path. <coughs> That's going to yield this kind of more interesting and complex. Um, I don't know. I want to say fruit. That's a mixed metaphor, but you know what I mean. Mm -hmm.